Whenever I play my live shows, uh, I love to take the music and deconstruct it into little glitch sounds and granules and, uh, and mess around with um, details and live control like that. So I wanted to try and do the same thing for the Emergence visual show, where I could actually take not only the audio and deconstruct it, but also the, the video. And that would fit with the concept of the show, you know, that I can take the, these images and the, of you know, what goes on around us and break it down into these units, which the you know, building blocks, you know, the natural underlying nat natural laws which um, things come from. So um, in terms of how the um, setup works, I'll just press play on one of my scenes in Ableton to start start a track and you can see that the music uh, video or the, the clip for the video starts at the same time and it's synced with the audio. Then I have lots of controls such as you know filters in Ableton where if I filter sounds in it'll actually deconstruct the image as well as the sound. So as you can see like that in terms of the triangles. Then I have a uh, lemur set up with different types of uh, glitch sounds that I can play live as a, as a pad. So starting with the more sort of clicky subtle sounds at the bottom which also do more simple uh, video effects and then as I move up it'll get more complex and I can you know, really deconstruct the images and really deconstruct the sound as well. The simple ones at the bottom which do simple edits and the ones at the top do much more extreme effects. One of the things I found with this, uh, this show, the Emergent show, is that uh, visuals are a lot more temperamental than audio. You know, I'm so used to turning up at a club and plugging in my audio inputs, you know, outputs into, the, into their mixer, and it's, it's super simple and reliable generally as well. Uh, whereas the visual side of things turned out to be a lot more complex, and it was something I hadn't, you know, really had to deal with before. But I decided I wanted to do the show on my own and really have control of all the visuals myself and the audio. So that meant I had to learn this sort of world of um, you know, video setups and different formats and it's been a steep learning curve for me, um, figuring out, well learning both the visual software and setting up the, the system but also the terms of the setups and the venues and being able to uh, work with all the different formats. It's always, you know, it's been, it's been enjoyable I guess and a challenge. Part of the reason for putting the show together was obviously to try and tell this story of emergence. But I don't like it when you know art is restrictive and has to be viewed from a certain perspective. And really, I chose each section visually so that it would be beautiful as well as meaningful, and it should be able to be enjoyed by people who just want to dance and enjoy the visuals, or by people who want to actually know look into the ideas and concepts behind each part it's not restrictive and you know that all the visuals were chosen to be um, impactful and beautiful whether or not you are interested in the theory behind it